All right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. Well, DC, this is a true mixed martial artist of the highest order. You've watched the film. Hard for me to see much in terms of glaring weaknesses, and he believes he can react to anything that is thrown his way inside that arc. It's unbelievable because whenever you're trying to prepare for someone, you look for weaknesses. But when you watch this guy, you, nothing jumps off the page. When you think I have to go wrestle him, you realize very quickly that not only can he defend takedowns, he can also go and secure them sure. himself. He's that new breed of fighter that has been doing every discipline from the very start of his career. You know you're looking at a guy that will contend for a championship. And if our fighter meeting on Thursday is any indication, confidence not an issue for this young man coming in here tonight. All right, here he is, the decorated kickboxer, back for more here tonight. And he's so comfortable in the striking realm. It's almost like he started kickboxing before he ever was reading or writing. Oh, it's unbelievable to see someone that's so comfortable under so much duress. I know. When you're in kickboxing range, you are in the fire. There is no safety. You're right in range to be getting knocked out. But he does not fear that. He loves it. He loves the, com he loves the combat. He loves the engagement. But what you have to understand is he's not engaging his opponents on their terms. He's doing it on his terms. Whether or not he wants to be in close with the big punches or he wants to be at range landing kicks, he's just constantly putting damage on you. Top, bottom, up, low, it does not matter. This guy is a dominant striker. One of the best kickboxers the UFC has ever seen. And in terms of the punching technique and the jab, as good as anyone in this division. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. More than five years apart, with some differences in height, but big differences in reach. All right, now for the particulars inside the octagon, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is one round in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. A mixed martial artist holding professional record eyes. 30 wins, six losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Coconut Creek, Pelota, Tatiago, Jecheboa, Ponsonibio. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 23 wins, nine losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Fort Worth, Texas, Kevin, the Trailblazer, Holland. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata. Ready? Inside the home of the New York Knicks, it is Madison Square Garden, and I think a lot of people remember that Conor McGregor and Eddie Alvarez ushered in this building as far as the UFC is concerned back in 2016. I mean, that place was insane when Conor McGregor became the UFC's double champion. From outside of the arena to build up to the fight to in the arena when Conor became the king. This was a great moment in the world's greatest history. Look, the best fights in history have happened here. On that night, Conor McGregor etched his name in stone. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Watch the shot to the body. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Big kick. Circling to his right. Inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night at that landing. They continue to exchange. Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up. Keeping busy, being very active. Try to establish that jab. Can't take many of those, you better check. Pretty good job staying patient as he lands the counter strike there. Strong work by Santiago Ponzinibbio. Well, oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt 
very bad. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Oh, went for the spinning kick there. Telegraphed it a little bit, no good. Oh, big go. Montanibio gets caught with that punch. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter round. Montanibio gets hit by that leg kick. You may want to start checking some of these. on that leg. Oh. Oh! Throwing hard in the pocket. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Big kick land. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Well, he's up, but oh, is he hurt. Ponzinibbio's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swelling. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that land, DC. Oh, man, that leg's all beat up. Oh, and he lands another strike to the body. Not a ton of real estate there, but he certainly found it. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves his moment. Go finish the fight. Oh. with the right hand. How about that chin? Oh! Huge right hand! No! Oh, oh my god! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Gets up again here, but hurting. Great punch. Serve him up. Go get him. An uppercut lead. An elbow. Oh, he might be out. Oh. Spinning back fist. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Whoa! He needs to start looking. Oh. Chase that finish down now. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh, he might be out. Oh. Another knockdown! Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, straight right. Looks like his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Beautiful diving strike lands. Oh, big elbow. Oh! Oh! He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Rubber guard for him now, DC. Some people believe this is nothing more than a stall tactic. What do you think the offensive fighter is trying to do? He needs to regain his posture, right? He needs to shove that foot down around his neck, shove it down, build your base, get that arm free, and then get back to work trying to advance position to your ground and bomb. If you play in there, you can find yourself in a lot of danger if you're not careful. 
All right, stacked guard here now. The feet are on the hips, DC. So for the top fighter, this is not at all ideal. No, this is not ideal. Because now he has to try and stop his opponent from kicking him away. How do you do that? You attack the feet. You start grabbing the feet with the hands, lead with your hips, grab the feet with the hands, pass the feet to the side, and start to lead with your knee to try to get inside. Oh! He's out! He's done! He's done! What a fight! And don't be surprised to see him win a $50,000 performance bonus by the end of the night as he stops his opponent there in his tracks, courtesy of that elbow. You know it's been a part of his repertoire for a long time. Beautiful technique. He's got a lot of power with that limb, and he certainly made his opponent pay here tonight. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship-winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee has called a stop to this contest. Playing the winner by knockout, Kevin the Trail.